Welcome to Airtime with the Airport Explorers Club, brought to you by the Greater Toronto Airports Authority and Toronto Pearson Airport. Today we have a very special guest, Deborah Flint. Hey, Airport Explorers, and hi, Deshaun. I'm so happy to be with you today. Um, as you said, my name is Deborah Flint. I am the president and CEO of the Greater Toronto Airport Authority, and we are the corporation that owns and operates the awesome Toronto Pearson Airport. Is that a hard job? It's a great job. I'm so honored to have the job. I get to see people traveling every day, the coolest of airports. I get to work with people that are protecting the environment, scientists that are figuring out how to have new technology in the airport. Um, all sorts of great things happen at the airport, and I count myself really, really lucky to be able to work at the airport. Okay. What is your favorite thing about your job? Well, I think it's that, you know, in an airport, you know, do you, you, you know, what do you think about when you, when you think about the airport, Deshaun? Say you get to go different places. Yeah. So you see like there's the planes. Um, when you walk through the airport terminal, you know, you see all sorts of different businesses. Uh, you can get your shoes shined at the airport. You can eat and try different things. You can go shopping. Uh, even when you drive onto the airport, there's so many different types of vehicles. There's trains and buses and all sorts of cars and taxis and limos. And you see people that are all on a journey, whether they're the journey going to the airport to work and do a cool job, or they're getting on one of the planes. So they could be flying across the country. They could be flying across the world. And there's so many different types of aircraft. So, you know, I love that there's so many things happening at the airport every day. People keeping us safe. They're law enforcement officers. We have people that are watching and, and providing security. They're looking on cameras and they're inspecting. Um, we have important people that are helping to make sure the airport is safe, like our firefighters um, or our people that check the runways and the taxiways to make sure that they are clean and the pavements are, are right. We have really cool people that de-ice and make sure that the planes are safe during the winter. Um, and the plows. Oh, have you ever seen the snow plows at the airport in the middle of winter? Yeah. Oh, what do you think? It's cool. They are incredibly cool. They are all synchronized and they do such an important job. So I love that all of that happens at the airport and I get to touch a little piece of all of it. Okay. What did you do before you got this job? Well, I was lucky that I discovered that there was the whole opportunity of working for an airport not long after I graduated from college. And I wasn't quite sure what direction I was going to go. I was going to go back and get another degree and figure out what my life's work would be. And then I found out about an airport job. And that literally changed uh, my whole life. And I started working first on the, the money side of airports. And then I got to have one different job after another until ultimately I became the CEO. That's cool. You're one of the people who helped create the Airport Explorers Club. Why do you think it's important? Um, I wish I knew as uh, your age. Uh, you're nine years old, is that correct? Yes. Yes, at nine years old that, you know, all of these different opportunities could be in front of me. And then I would really like, you know, be watching and learning and getting on the internet and looking at different airports and looking at different airplanes. And, uh, you know, I wish that, uh, you know, for so many young people, I, I want them to know that there are such cool, fun and interesting jobs in the airport right? Air traffic controllers, pilots, flight attendants, ground handlers, people that work in cargo. Have you always been interested in airports and aviation? Not at all. Can you guess what my first job was? 
<laughs> something so different than aviation. My first job when I was a teenager was working at a place called the Sweet Stop. And the Sweet Stop was an ice cream store. And, and so <laughs> I got to eat all the free ice cream I wanted. And so did my little sisters and my brother, because <laughs> they would come and visit me when I was working. And uh, they would always want to get some free ice cream. And the owner was nice. She let me do that. Uh, but so I've worked in different things. I've worked in that ice cream store when I was really young. Uh, but then even during my older years, I worked in at a technology company in Silicon Valley, um, but but the, the moment that I found the opportunity to work in an airport, I felt so blessed. Like, I just knew that that was the place for me. Airports are such amazing places where, you know, when you look at someone traveling through the airport, you don't know what their story is. You know, they could be traveling for the very first time or they could be going on a special trip that's their 10th trip. And they're going somewhere across this world or across the country or even our province. And that's a really, really special thing to be a part of. Do you have any advice for the airport explorers who want a job in aviation? Oh, yes. You all, I mean, today it's just such a great time because in, in your generation, all you explorers get to go online and see such amazing things. So I would encourage you to, when you're online, I know you want to have fun and do things like TikTok, um, but there are also some really you know, great information that you can have and that you can learn about all the different opportunities in aviation. You, know, you can look and go onto the websites of every airport practically around the entire world and see what that airport is doing, see the cool buildings that are being built. There's some really cool airplanes that are going to be coming out. Have you heard about the 777X? No. So that is a, it's going to be. I'm so excited to see one. I haven't seen one in person yet, but the Boeing 777X is a really, really big plane. And it has a really long wingspan. And the wings are so long that you know what they do in order to make sure it can fit easily at an airport? What? They, they fold up. After the plane lands, the wings fold up and then it taxis in into the airport and into the gate. Doesn't that sound so cool? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it was pretty cool. Like the the the, the, the 787 Dreamliner, the wings kind of had a beautiful bow to them. But this one, the wings flow, fold up. So airplanes continue to get cooler and cooler. Yeah. Do you remember the first time you flew on an airplane? What do you remember? I don't remember the first time I flew because I was a baby. Um, so I don't remember that trip. But I will tell you the most um, important memory of an airport to me. And that was a time when I was flying back. I had moved to Africa, actually, with my family. And we were flying back to live in the United States. And we flew into Amsterdam Schiphol Airport. And I was so excited. I was so excited. When I stepped my, into that airport, it felt like I could see the whole world in front of me. And I felt a, a, just a great sense of like, you know, being in a place that was going to take me back home to, to where my friends were as a young person. I was just a few years older than you. And I realized then that airports were such special, special and cool places. So that's my biggest memory of an airport. And I think that moment, Deshaun, actually really, even though I didn't know it then, it created this um, path for me to actually eventually one day work at an airport. For any of the other explorers, it could be these interviews or when they drive by an airport or they see an airplane that could really shape their future. And I'm excited for you young people. Okay. And there's one last question. This week we learned about how air travel might change in the future. Can you tell us about some of the changes that you imagine? Oh, I think airplanes are going to get more cool. Like, you know, the 777X with the wings that fold up. I think airplanes are going to get quieter. I think they're going to be better for the environment. I think that, uh, you know, the, 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 the fuel that goes into the airplanes are going to be cleaner. And then what, you know, what you will see on board will be so dynamic and, and interesting. I think that 
drones and autonomous vehicles are going to be uh, part of our future. I think we see small drones that are traveling today and taking some packages. And in the future, we may see, you know, in, you know drones that are like flying cars and that take you from one place to another. Um, all of that is so possible. Wow. Thank you so much for joining us today, Deborah. It was nice meeting you. This is the Sean for the Airport Explorers Club. Over and out. Over and out. High five to Sean. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Want to learn more about airports and aviation? Go to airportexplorer.club. And don't forget to check this channel for more videos.